This morning, a new message from now former Fox News host Tucker Carlson urging his fans to sign up on his website for text alerts to find out what he's up to next after the network suddenly announced his exit. We have some news from within our Fox family. Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have mutually agreed to part ways. Fox providing no reason. The LA Times reports the decision came from the top from Fox chairman Rupert Murdoch after months of internal turmoil. Just last week, Fox settled a defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems over false election claims for nearly $800 million, a case that implicated Carlson and brought embarrassing text messages to light, in which he called management and colleagues at Fox pathetic. A former producer on his show also sued, claiming she was bullied and subjected to sexist and anti-Semitic comments. And the L.A. Times reports Carlson's coverage of the January 6th attack was also concerning to Murdoch. They were peaceful, they were orderly and meek. These were not insurrectionists, they were sightseers. Carlson had promoted the conspiracy theory that a Texas man who was at the riot worked for the FBI. There was an effort to make me the scapegoat. But 60 Minutes reported Sunday that Epps has never worked for the Bureau. Meanwhile, at CNN, anchor Don Lemon is out. A lot so to discuss uh, yeah, lot. this morning. So good morning, everyone. Lemon tweeting that he's stunned, claiming he wasn't told directly by management. But CNN says Lemon was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released a statement on Twitter. He had faced talk. backlash for his comments about former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley's presidential run. Nikki Haley is in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What do you that's talk? Not Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime for what? Lemon was suspended in February. He also denied accusations of workplace misogyny. And back to Fox. The company's stock fell after the news about Tucker Carlson wiping out $500 million in market value. The company is facing another defamation lawsuit from another voting system company, Smartmatic, which is seeking $2.7 billion. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.